Greetings. Hello. It's come to our attention that on the internet, sometimes people do videos of things that they've used up, and they call them empties videos, and they show them the empty thing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to film a video of things that we've used. So I'll kick things off because I've watched some of these videos on the internet from people. This it is mascara called the Falsies by Maybelline. It is good. It builds up your eyelashes and makes them nice and good and black. So it's good. But now it's kind of gross. Ew, it's all blobby and it doesn't smell good. So I figured I probably shouldn't put it on my eyes anymore. It's empty. This. This is the box that my latest set of one ring dice came in. Um, I run the one ring online predominantly, but also at most of the cons I go to. And to do that, you do need a set of dice for every player and for yourself. So this is the empty box. My last set of dice came in. Um, they were a very good set of dice. They've rolled some very good numbers. So I'm very pleased with these and would certainly buy them again. Good to know. This. It's a conditioner. Um... Absolute Repair Cellular Lactic Acid Repairing Conditioner for Very Damaged Hair a L'Oreal Professional Paris Expert Series um, I actually bought this from my hairdresser I don't know if you can tell but I dye my hair um, and it this is my natural colour here so to get this colour I mean obviously this is yellow dyed over it it has to be bleached to hell it has to be bleached until my hairdresser keeps asking me is my scalp burning? are you okay? Do I need to rinse that off? Are you all right? Tell me when it's painful. Given that, my hair's pretty darn damaged. I still have some of the shampoo left. You always run out of conditioner before you run out of shampoo, don't you? Um, but the conditioner, excellent. As is the shampoo, to be honest. Um, I will repurchase as soon as I can convince myself to spend £15 on a fucking conditioner. <laughs> I'm working up to it. This catching the sunlight but this is Dow's trademark finest reserve port um, we picked this up for Christmas you've got to have port with your Stilton at Christmas and we do love a Stilton and um, it was a very good port very soft nice gentle drinking it's now normally I would say yep go straight out and buy another one but we're actually experimenting with making our own at the moment it's fermenting in the cupboard downstairs it's not fermenting. we're not fermenting it's it's leftover slow gin slow port so you get slows and you make gin, slow gin, and then you take the gin out and, and then you put red, red wine. wine and sugar on it and then after it's been like that for a while you put some brandy in it and then apparently it's slow port. Yeah. So we'll see how that comes out. So yeah, very good port, well worth getting, but as I say we're not going to replace it with another just yet because we're making our own. That was a lot. I have hands. And they need moisturising because they, they, they do. You have to wash them because otherwise, ick. You're touching stuff all the time, you know? Touching, 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 touching. So you have to stop it. Clean them and then they get all dry and icky and gross and it's horrible. I bought some hand cream and it's Soap and Glory hand cream. Everyone knows hand food. Soap and Glory. It's just really good. I've tried other ones in the same price range. Not as good. Um, I hear that more expensive ones are better, but I'm not going to buy those. It may not look entirely empty, but trust me, this is all you can get out of a pump. The problem is, the squeezy tubes, you can cut those open and get it all out. But, if you look at the price per mil, this is much, much better value, but you can't get the last bits out. But yes, it's good, and I have already repurchased it. There's some over there. There is. This. I am still behind here. It's a 20 litre pit, well, poly pin technically, of Thatcher's Heritage Somerset Cider. Um, 20 litres, that's what? 35.2 pints, in fact. Um, I will point out, I didn't drink it all myself. Helen and her mother polished off a fair bit as well. Hi. Um, but th this was a lovely, lovely cider. Um, it was a present, but I would guess it would be very good value for money because something like this normally is. And Thatcher's Brewery themselves, just down the road from us, brewery, farm, whatever you want to call it. And so I think very likely to pop in and get another at some point. 
very lovely cider. And if you're a cider drinker and you like proper cider, not your crappy, fizzy stuff they sell in the pubs. And you just want to show off having a massive box of uh, cider. A box of like, cider. Would you like a cider? I'll just go to this massive box of cider over here that I've got because I'm a full-on alcoholic. Yeah. Um, anyway, yes, definitely worth buying. This, it's tiny, but you can get it in bigger. Basically, it benefits poor professional. Everybody already knows about it. Everybody says it's amazing. It is amazing. It's amazing. That is amazing. Even I say it's amazing. Really? Do you, know what it, do you know what it does? E no. you got no idea? It's for your paws. Okay, and when do I use it? Um, when you need to. When do I need to? In the morning. No, you use it at night before you go to bed. No, you use it when you've got spots. I don't know. I have no idea. Is this idea. skincare or is it makeup? No cheating. Makeup. You use it when you put your makeup on. It is a pro balm to minimise the appearance of pores. So basically, what it does is you can pat it on over anywhere you've got open pores, which is, you know, my face. Um, and it just sort of fills them in so that when you put foundation, they don't, it doesn't sink in. It's really, really good. This is a tiny one that I got in a like a kit that had a small foundation, small concealer, small powder and this, um, just to try out the products. There are cheaper products that claim to do the same thing, but they don't. My, my last empty is a little different. Um, most of these things have been empties where they used to contain something, so they're now empty on the inside. This is the other way around. This kind of was the inside and had the product around it, so it's empty on the outside, but it is still technically an empty. Now, it wouldn't surprise me to find out that some of you may have some of these empties around your house yourselves. It's a very popular product. It is a very popular product. And, and it's this, an empty toilet roll. Um, it's essential to me. I just, I just can't imagine life... Well, not without an empty, I quite happily imagine life without an empty, but without full toilet rolls. And if you've not tried them, I really, really would. It, it would change the whole toilet going experience and thereafter for you. I don't think there'll ever be a time in our life that we won't, that we won't, won't be buying toilet so, rolls. No. Yeah. Yeah, available many different products. Mm. Um, There's a lot of different varieties. I mean, you can choose colours even. Yeah, so it's well worth shopping around. But if you've not tried them, I would really, really recommend the toilet roll. That's the end of the video. Yeah, that's it. Love and kisses. Bye! Bye.